Hey beautiful people, I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon. Sorry, just juggling my phone a bit here. And uh, I'm just down at the central coast at the moment and about to head up to Nelson's Bay to visit a girlfriend tomorrow. So feeling uh, really, really excited about that and um, just enjoying the beautiful um, background here. You may not be able to see it because it's um, so bright there. Hey Glenda, great to have you on darling. And uh, I just wanted to do a, a quick live on, hey Nancy, how are you beautiful? Wanted to do a quick live on gratitude and uh, self-love and how these two things alone, hey Lynn, great to have you on darling, how these two things alone, hey Christy, uh, how these two things alone have massively, massively changed my life and I really do credit uh, gratitude, the emotion of gratitude uh, with bringing so many wonderful, wonderful things into my life but not only that, um, really just shaping and shifting how I feel every single day and I truly think that self-love is absolutely imperative for being able to follow your heart, hey Julie, great to have you on darling. Um, I truly think that um, self-love is absolutely imperative for being able to tune into that inner guidance and really actually follow that and be courageous in your decisions for what is actually really really right for you. Hey Joanne, great to have you on darling. Hey Tammy, lots of people jumping on, it's great to see you all on here. And um, so self-love, like in my whole journey, um, it's, it's not a one-time certificate guys, like if you've beating yourself up and thinking oh, I should love myself more or you know which I guess is kind of ironic and it's something I've done as well plenty of times because like we know this stuff but we don't necessarily live by it every single day and some of those people pleasing tendencies and things like that can definitely come in and of course we all want to be loved and accepted so it's like super hard sometimes to make those core decisions um, where you know you know that it may upset somebody you know that it might um, really hurt somebody hey Kim great to have you on babe. Uh, so, you know, self-love is absolutely imperative though for building a strong sense of self in terms of getting clear on what you want. I know um, in my former marriage, like I was, um, uh, I dated um, my former husband from 16 until uh, we broke up at like 31. So that was like 14, 15 years of definitely, you know, like people pleasing and trying to do everything I could. I was turning myself inside out, trying to be this perfect wife trying to be this person who I thought he wanted me to be and all the while just making myself more and more and more miserable and um it just doesn't work and I feel like uh, it, it creates like a sense of control in relationships where we're like placing these expectations, placing these needs on our partners, um, wanting them to fulfill our needs simply because we're like doing the people pleasing so therefore we tend to give with that expectation of well they should be doing it um, back for us and of course we all know deep down inside unconditional love is giving without attachment but it, it's not necessarily an easy thing to actually live by as well and so that's where I find uh, tapping into the energy of gratitude and the emotion of gratitude really does set us free at a new level and those two things combined um, literally you know that's what I like absolutely teach um, and uh, do my best to live by simply because I truly do think that they're um, they're absolutely key to living a, a not only an authentic life but a truly happy life um, where you feel deeply happy um, deep down inside not just through the fleeting moment of getting a goal or of having a nice house or having the things that you know like uh, it's nice to have nice things around us and um, uh, all of those things hey Sal great to have you on and but it's also definitely more about you know what's going on internally and if we're not happy inside you know you're not gonna find that anywhere outside of yourself and a lot of the time it's because we're disconnected with ourselves. we're not loving and appreciating ourselves. we've let our ego mind um, take over with some of those inner critical thoughts and beating ourselves up hey Mars great to have you on uh, and that can be really really challenging as well so um, hey Leone great to have you on hey Ainsley um, so absolutely like self-love and and learning how to do that and if you feel like I did I know when um, I had kind of a couple of major life events uh, if you've been following me for a while you you know that um, that was my mum passing and my marriage breaking down but they were like really tough times for me because I didn't know how to love myself and it took those moments um, to really um, understand at a deep level that I actually didn't know what um, 
uh, what I was actually, or how to actually do that, how to really tap in and know what it was that I wanted. And it took a lot of soul searching over a long period of time as well to get clear on what I wanted my new canvas of my life to look like. What were those things that were really important to me? What uh, lights my soul up? What makes me feel joyful and happy and excited? What are the things that if I was on a remote island uh, with nobody else to, um, to think about or to concern myself with? And of course, that's not true. But sometimes we've got to take ourselves completely out of the picture um, of our normal everyday life in order to get that clarity as well. So, hey Charity, great to have you on too, darling, and Jeremy. Um, so when we're feeling confused, when we're feeling lost, when we're not sure of where to go to next, you know, it really does take some quiet time and that's exactly why like I'm up here on the beach at the moment, just taking a little bit of time out for myself. I'm still working in my business and hey Penny, great to have you on still definitely working my business and that but just taking a little bit of extra time just to get clear on you know what I want the next 12 months two years five years vision for me to actually be moving forward and I think it's really important to take that time out um, now and then and to even journal every single day you know what does my heart and soul need what do I need to do in terms of taking great care of myself um, and of course like healthy eating and exercising and all of those things can be forms of self-love so long as it's coming from the right energy whenever it's like a to-do or I need to do this so that finally I'm enough it's actually driven by the ego mind uh, that's wanting control and wanting to finally prove itself and so that's like a tough gig and so that's where combined with the energy of gratitude in terms of like I'm so grateful for my body so I'm, I'm grateful for being able to take care of it and to look after it really can help to turn up the dial of self-love now no amount of self-love if we're coming from the ego mind no amount of self-love will finally prove your worthiness but what self-love does is raise your vibration raise your energy to the point where the ego mind then is in alignment with your truest self with your higher self and it's in that moment then um, um, that the mind actually like lets go of this concept around fear and can vibe at that higher level which is in resonance with our heart and soul. Hey Kylie, hey Adele, great to have you guys on. Hey Michael. Um, where that really does help us to tap into um, that higher energy and to be able to see ourselves from our highest perspective. Quite often the ego mind, like I said, will tap into the inner critic and be very, very harsh on ourselves at times if it feels like we're not living within integrity or just, you know, like that whole I'm not enough, whether I'm not pretty enough, whether I'm not thin enough, whether I'm not um, successful enough or making enough money or whatever it is, whatever story um, that you've got going on and we've all got one. One, um, we've all got a deep wound from the past where we've believed on some level that we're not enough and uh, we'll be living that out unless we've actually taken time to question that and part of loving ourselves at the deepest level is also questioning that story as well and knowing that it's just complete and utter rubbish and that underneath it all we are all worthy of love there's no question about that we're all whole complete and lovable exactly as we are hey Dilate, great to have you on darling and um, so that is where like I really 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 believe having gratitude for our journey having gratitude for our lessons having gratitude uh, for all of the different things that can happen in life um, that take us on our life path and on our life journey really help to elevate uh, not only our vibration and our energy and our emotional energy and our amount of resourcefulness then in being able to deal with things at a different level but it also um, it just it feels so much better so I'm doing like a five day gratitude challenge it kicks off tomorrow morning if that's something that you're wanting to dive into I'll be doing a live video every morning from the daily gratitude group um, and just like really immersing yourself in the energy of gratitude and I'm not just talking about surface words of I'm grateful for or, I'm thankful for this is like really deep uh, a deep dive into really really shifting yourself emotionally where like it's like those tears of joy where you're allowing life and the energy to move you at such a deep level where you do deeply deeply feel it um, a lot of the time it can be challenging if we're um 
you know, it just kind of like journaling and it's, it feels like empty words. So we're going to be making sure that we can really tap deep into the energy of gratitude uh, and really use that to elevate not only your own emotional energy, but to magnetize yourself, uh, hey Kyrie, um, to have what it is that you're actually wanting to experience in life and to attract more of all the good stuff that you've already got happening in life as well. So uh, if you haven't already joined us, please make sure that you click on the link if that resonates for you. I'd love to have you in there and uh, can't wait uh, to help you all elevate with the energy and emotion of gratitude. I truly, truly believe it's such a magical, magical power that is very underutilized in today's day and age where we're all stressed and we're rushed and we're busy and we're not taking the time out to really notice and appreciate all the little miracles that are happening every day as well. So lots of love to you all. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your afternoon and enjoy your space wherever you are. Catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>